Hey, you. What can I do for you? Don't tell me you didn't know that. What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather. Still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards had come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So, can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. Shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I s How quite s as Nothing surprises me anymore. Show me I agree with you completely. I can't believe that. I'm so sure. It's a bad business. Don't tell this to anyone. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. It's not what I heard. That's the... I don't know so that this way nothing. You're not touching that. You hardly know who to believe these days. That's the first I've heard of it. He set himself between his brother and his brother. He doesn't see that. He can't help me. I'm Oh, man, my head. Wait a minute. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. My name is Gritta. Mate he wants his... And did you let me... Cut it out. But I don't have. Then we'll simp. How dare you! See that. And now, will you please? And the sea released the land, and there arose all. That's not what I heard. That's the first I've heard of it. 
Here's your 100 gold pieces. And? Did none. Good. Help me sign. Don't worry. The other mask. You had yes and, and his name I was Where how would I How I guess it Have you of course he can is the really not my What do you not much <laughs> Do you rumor all and if you Can you you have paid however how much do you 200 gold Fine. This money will really help me. Teach me how to pick a lock. All you need is a lock pick. If you move it carefully left and right in the lock, you can unbolt the mechanism. But if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction, it will snap right off. The more adept you become, the fewer lock picks you are going to need. That's all there is to it, really. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No, they're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. You've got no business being here. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. between his brothers in order to reconcile their dispute. And he did not succeed. But there, where Adonis stood, was a place in which Enos had... I'm Zorus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Who says things like that? Everybody knows by now. That's not what I heard. I don't believe that. Everybody knows by now. Really? How interesting. And it's gonna get even worse. That's not what I heard. Who says things like that? That's not what my husband thinks. Go away. Don't tell me that. He can't keep anything to himself. Who says things like that? These are bad times. That's not what I heard. He can't keep anything to himself. Everybody knows by now. Everybody knows by now. I don't believe Show me your wares. I just received some new potions. You don't say. Someone's gonna do the work. Go away. Don't tell me that. I can't take care of everything for everybody. He simply talks too much. That's not what my 
husband thinks. Honestly, I'm honest in myself. That's not what I heard. Really? How interesting. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I don't believe that. And it's going to get even worse. Who says things like that? Now that's typical, isn't it? Someone's got to do the work. Go away, don't tell me that. Now that's typical, isn't it? And he works all day, too. That's an open secret. I don't believe that. And in this place, order and chaos were equal. You hardly know who to believe these days. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Will it ever change? For me. Hey, you! Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. What do you have to offer? At the moment, the damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. Show me your wares. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Nobody will learn anything from me. I hardly know what to believe anymore. I never knew that. It can't go on like this forever. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Wouldn't be so sure. You listen to the wrong people. Can you sell me if I have any left?
that's not what I heard. You mustn't believe everything you hear. I'm no better off myself. I've heard a thing or two. He never would have thought of that himself. You mustn't believe everything you hear. It's a bad business. says things like that. Got my own opinion about that. It can't go on like this forever. Go away. Don't talk about that. That was quite obvious. I believe that. Got my own opinion about that. I've heard a thing or two. It obvious all along. Really? How interesting. I know what to believe. It's gonna 
fuck somebody. I can't believe that. seen it with my own eyes. That's the first I've heard of it. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Oh, but no, he insisted he knew better.
Decision was no better off myself. That's been known a long time. myself. But the human and the beast waged war upon the land of Adonis, and the wrath of the gods was with them. And the human slew the beast, and it entered into Beliar's realm. Adonis saw that order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from the human. And Enos, in his wisdom, did so. Adonis feared for the day in which the beast would return to the land. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. To leave a part of his power in his realm so that he might restore it to the youth. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. Better shut up. I don't believe this is gonna change. And how's business going? Ah, uh, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. That's terrible. I'm not touching that. That's an open secret.
What is it with this Valentino? Hey, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. I haven't seen it and he brags about it to everybody. Whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. And then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, uh, go find some work. Preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round, serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. they prefer to get plastered on free beer. Show me your wares. Show me your wares. About those missing people. Yes? Let me tell What have you found? Nothing important. It seems to me that I have met you before, Traveler. Well, great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid bin Haji al Shadidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. That's terrible. I'm no better off myself. Will it ever change? It's better to watch out. That's terrible. Do you really believe that? It's really not my problem. 
Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. I never knew that. Are you ready? You already know what I think. I won't tell her. Orcs. Not what I heard. They are guarding an entry. That's an old tunnel. The Valley of Mines. Men in shining armor. A magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature. The flames, many, shall die. What is that? A city. That's not what my husband is. Ruins. Guarhodron in Jakandar. He is summoned. Quarhodran in Jagandar. I am sorry. Division is over. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly listened to all people. Hey, you! Nobody will learn anything from me. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? I agree with you completely. I need some money, don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the money lender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the harbor district, where it borders on the lower part of town. Someone's got to do the work. I'm no better off myself. That's not what I heard. It can't go on like this forever. That's not what my husband thinks. Is it really thinks. true? That's what I've always said. I wouldn't have done that. Go away. Don't tell me that. I'd have gone about it differently. Who says things like that? Why haven't I heard about this before? He simply talks too I much. I agree with you completely. I won't tell her a thing. Interesting. That was obvious all along. I must talk to the paladins by any means. What do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? You'll never get into the upper end of town. I never do that. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? 
We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. That's what I've always said. Will it ever change? Go away. Don't tell me that. There have been all kinds of rules. These are bad times. I agree with you completely. That's not what I heard. Hey, you! Where you going? No matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinnis, the Red Lantern. This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Myrtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor of spending a night with Nadia, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. Take care of everything for everybody. Why haven't I heard about this before? I don't believe that. I can't believe that. These are bad times. That'll only cause more trouble. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You already know what I saw. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. That's terrible. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You don't say it. No one really wants to hear that. That's a secret. Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromore if you want to have some fun. I just want to ask you a few questions about those missing people. I could tell you a thing or two, but not here, honey. Then let's go upstairs. Fine, but you get it settled with Bromore first. I don't want any trouble. Are you the one who runs this place? I am Bromore, this is my house, and these are my girls. I like my girls. And if you like my girls too, then you'll pay for it, 50 gold pieces. And don't get the idea of making trouble here. I want to have some fun. Fine. <laughs> You're not likely to go upstairs. Are all your girls accounted for? Of course they are. Uh, I wasn't asking about your payroll. I mean, are they all present? Or have any gone missing? Oh, yeah. Actually, one of my girls has up and left. Her name's Lucia. I reported it to the militia, too. But they claim they haven't found a trace of her yet. How long has Lucia been missing? Several days. I don't know exactly how long. I assume she ran off with one of her suitors. Eh? That bitch made off with part of my savings, a really valuable gold and dish. Eh? If I get hold of her, I give her what for. So how is that any business of yours? Eh? Do you want to have fun or not? Hey, you. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. And there's more, believe me. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Someone's got to do the work. That's what I heard. Everybody. Out telling. And he works all day to everybody. That's an open secret. I've got no time for things like that. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. And he works all day too. I had better shut up. Someone's got to do the work. So can we talk now? We've got enough privacy up here. Romar doesn't like to see us talk to guests during work. There's nothing in it for him. 
So you want to know more about the people who disappeared down here at the harbor, do you? I don't know whether I can help you much, but at least I can tell you what became of Lucia. Tell me about Lucia. Nobody here is too sorry that she's gone. Why? I don't think there was anyone here whom she didn't try to use. She was a real bitch. Where did she disappear to? She used to see a lot of Elverich, the apprentice of Thorben, the carpenter from the lower part of town. I bet she's up and left with that young man. Where could the two of them have gone? If the wolves didn't need them, I suppose they went to stay with the farmers. Where else would they go? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. What else do you know? I've heard many stories about people who disappear down here at the harbor, but I'm not so sure whether I should believe them. You should have a chat with the merchants down here. That's all I can tell you, alas. Now, what about the two of us, sweetie? You paid for it, after all. Wouldn't you like to have a little fun before you leave? And he works all day, too. Everybody knows by now. That's terrible. And he works all day to He'd better shut up. Now that's typical, isn't it? Go away. Don't tell me that. Well, that was a nice He works all day, too. I hardly know what to believe. That's not what I heard. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Really? I hadn't seen it with my eyes. Everybody knows. I can't take care How's it going? How much do you want? What do you mean, how much? I'm the money lender and you came to me. What could you want from me? Money, of course. Lend me some money. Sure, how much would you like? I charge 20%. 200 gold coins. That's a lot of money. I'll see you here again tomorrow, and the money too. Understand? Boy, that lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long in the Harbor District? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. I could take care of felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins.
Hey! Hey, you! Could you stop hammering? No, I have to finish this. Stop that hammering or I'll break every bone in your body. Forget it, or I'll knock some sense into your head with my hammer. You'll ah, regret shit. this! Now that's Whack him. Show him! Give him what for not. Try that again. Hey, you! Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't hit me anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the Harbor District. Home sweet home. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed, no bows or crossbows, and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. I want to By fight against you. Do you have 50 Lord gold Hagen, pieces? The following decree is hereby enacted. Here you are. Security we have a new challenger. The, the bets are be placed. Are you ready? The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret Come here. the law and let's strict see what you can do. In order to prevent unauthorized entry. Ah, and now for the fun part. Hit him. Hit him. Atta boy! Atta boy! Yeah, that's the ticket. Slug him! Slug him! Atta boy! Get him! Not bad at all.
Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. From this moment onward, Lord oh, Andre my will head. take the supreme command of our militia. Oh man! All the you citizens pack quite of the a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. And one more thing. No one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate. So, I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jorah. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself a Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. Just you wait, you some bitch. Is it really true? Never pick a fight with me again. Thanks for the gold, you hero. I think I'd better take this weapon. Yes, do you mind? You've got no business here, Rut. 
I see. I'll be forced to tan your hide in order to make any progress. You're welcome to try, runt. Show me what you got. Oh, uh -huh. oh. Hit him! Ah. Oh. And now for the fun part. Finish him! Ah. Finish him! Ah. Show him! And now for some action. Get ah. him! Not bad at all. Nothing to be had there. See about that. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? Hey, you. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost 10 gold pieces. He never would have thought of that himself. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's say six. You're a scoundrel, you know that? Well, if you insist, let's say six gold pieces for each piece of information. I need information. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. But if you wield a decent blade... Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. I wouldn't have done that. Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. Who said that? Got any? I've got something for you, but that should only interest you if you're a man of versatile talents. What have you got? Well, Zorus, the potion vendor in the marketplace, currently has a guest, Darren, the fire magician. And? He had a new chest made specially for him by Thorben the carpenter. They say that this Darren has bought a bunch of valuable stuff with him. That's exactly what I said. You listen to the wrong people. Hey, you! you known. Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. All right, you're the boss. Good. Then let me know when you're ready to rake in a heap of gold. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Beltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Beltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Beltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Beltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> How much will the profit be? 
I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. Where is leave the go up the Well then good then get in your way It's really not my problem He never would have thought of that himself Some problems solve themselves to the wrong people. Don't tell this to anyone. You really believe that?
Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. Really? I craft bows and trade in furs. Uh, what brings you to Corinnus? I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Boulder Dash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, 
am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? Uh, all right, you shall have my approval, but on one condition. Work for me, at least for a short time. That way, you can find out for yourself whether you like my craft or not. And who knows? Maybe you'll end up liking it, and you'll stay with me. If you're good enough to sign on with me, you're also good enough for all others here. Nobody will learn anything from me. I'm not telling you anything new. Don't say you didn't know that. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or... Uh, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. He never would have thought of that himself. Is it really true? Show me your wares. That's the first I've heard of it. You hardly know who to believe these days. as much. That doesn't surprise me. Where did you pick that up then? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Hey! Teach me something. Good. Your strength has increased. 